Hello and welcome to Shy Guy Plays Dota 2 Wear. So Dota 2 Wear is basically normal Dota, but with a shitload of mods. So the mods I'm using on this match are Fighting Chart, which means we get an item every 5 minutes. Um, multiplier, which basically makes all the spells do 3 times as much. Which is pretty interesting, I've got to admit. And the last one is random oh my god, which will basically, whoever I pick will make no difference, but I just get random spells. You know, it kind of balances it out, because otherwise people will just choose all the overpowered characters in this mode. So, I am just going to go a random hero, for obvious yeah, reasons, I get a bit go. more gold, and I get Visage, so, that could be cool, Five I don't know. Seconds. Could be alright. So... Here we go, so let's have a look at what spells I get when we jump in. So we have got Avalanche, which is um, Better get obviously, ready. Um, what's his name, Tinies. Feral Impulse, which is an attack speed. So that could be really cool, like getting stupidly high attack speed. Uh, sprint, which could be really fun but a bit shitty at the same time and god strength which means I'm gonna get 300% damage so that's gonna be amazing with my attack speed so items are also good on here a stout shield for obvious reasons it will give you more more block chance than normal obviously a boost speed normally quite good because it will give me 150 movement speed I believe uh, what else is good obviously tangos are better than solves and I'll just pick up an iron branch because why not? So I'm gonna level up. Thirty seconds to go. I guess avalanche. I suppose. I suppose it'd be quite good. Cause that could give me a quite a nice little stun. That's for sure. So there's also yeah, quite a few um, other mods that are in like the Dota 2 wear. It's one which basically have all the same character. So imagine that, like five pudges. There's another one which is like all middle, which kind of says it all. Now I'm going to cho choose some uh, Pyrian Flax, because everyone likes Pyrian Flax, don't they? Welcome to Pyrian Flax's Guide to Being a Dota 2 Announcer. Yeah, so welcome to Pyrian Flax's Dota 2 Guide to Being a, Pyri uh, to being a Dota 2 Announcer. So I'm going to stay around here because invisibility lasts forever ages on here and I'm just gonna try and stun Luna or Tinker oh, okay Luna's got um, a Hawk which is kind of shit I don't know why they leveled up that look, look how big that stun was did you see that the area of effect is also multiplied by three <laughs> this is amazing so if I just do that I'm bound to get like a massive stun on Luna. It doesn't do too much damage, which kind of sucks, but it's just fun, really, just to see all that damage. <laughs> oh my lord. So, the main point in the game where it all changes is around obviously the five minute up mark when you'll start getting items. So, yeah, we need to look out for that. So, I'm going to get Feral Impulse, which is going to. Oh, passively! Oh, that's really good. I didn't realise it was a passive, but if it passively. Um, increases my attack speed. I'm going to get insane attack speed. Look how big that stun is. There's rocks flying everywhere. So obviously you can last hit on this mode, but is it really needed? Is it really fun to last hit on a mode where you have like crazy spells? I suppose if you're like a complete Dota like master maybe, I don't know what you want to call it. You would have to last hit, because you know, how could you break that habit? Oh, I am just gonna you know, spam my spells really. So the, 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 the movement speed is really useful because obviously I'm flying over the map everywhere. I don't think I want to see what um, getting Slada's sprints like, but I'm guessing I could like go from spawn to where I am now in about a second. Your top tower is under attack. No, I don't even use that. I need to heal up. So let's uh, level up my avalanche a bit more because it seems to be the best one. 
rocks flying everywhere. That is so cool. <laughs> oh, I'm having a great time. See, Luna's got some good spells. See, she did so much damage with some kind of nuke. That must have been uh, the shuriken or maybe, I don't know. It could have been anything, really. So what's everyone else got? He's got a... Uh, uh, excuse so he's me, got sir, but it's your top tower. the Venomous it's Gales, that'll destroyed. do quite a bit, I think. A leap, oh god, you'd be flying yes. everywhere with that. Your middle tower is under attack. This guy seems to have cogs, maybe. No, someone else does. But, uh, some heroes, sadly, with this mod, um, they actually have to keep their spells. One of the characters is I.O. So, you know, if you get I.O., as like a random. I'd probably change, but it's obviously up to you. Oh, double kill. Who is a pro? I'm a pro. Get some more attack speed as well. I don't think it seems to be stacking, actually. I'm not sure. But either way, I think it'll be better than just a standard movement speed. So I'll, I'll stick with that, I think. So what I'm going to do when I get a thousand gold is save up and get the uh, the mana boots, the arcane boots from the secret shop. Because obviously they'll give me 750 mana. So yeah, Sven's ultimate will um, give me massive damage for 75 seconds. A little bit OP maybe, maybe OP. Oh, these are OP, these cogs are, apparently. But look how much damage I just pour out with my attack speed. Anyway, time to get Sven's ulti. 10 seems to be pretty strong with one of his spells as well. So this is uh, quite a real... It constantly confuses you playing as uh, these um, three times multiplier heroes. It's just strange, really. Oh, I see why Tinker's strong. He's got headshots, which will do extra damage, like, constantly. So anyway, we couldn't level up just yet, so I'm going to go back to the secret shop, like I said I would. And then it's time to take some towers. One of the spells that is amazing in this game mode is uh, Naga Siren's um, one that gives her illusions. So normally it gives you uh, just three illusions, but in this... Well, let's just say uh, excuse me, sir, you get nine tower. illusions. It's nine. It's great. So I've got blade mail here. So this could be really fun. What the hell was that spell? Whoa, look how far the cogs can push you. That is in... That's just crazy. So you don't actually want to push people into the cogs in this. You want them out on the outside. So you can just take them down. So what's he got? He's got he's got mirror image, but he's not using it. What's he doing? That could be really good. Shadow walk with mirror image. That's for, that's for sure. So what's everyone else got? He's got a oblivion staff, which is pretty dreadful. He may have got the recipe for chrysalis. I guess I don't know. That'd be a pretty dreadful item to get. Magnus has got so much HP already, though. Must be God knows where from. Um, I'm not sure where he got that white HP from, but it's pretty crazy. Roshan has fallen to the radio. Roshan at six minutes with Tinker. That is some damage. That's a twofer. Your middle tower is under attack. I'm gonna try and gank Troll Warlord down down here now. May work, may not. Your bottom tower is under attack. Uh, can we pause, please? So and much damage! <laughs> that was amazing! Your middle tower is under attack. Okay, I'm, I just love this game mode because you can go absolutely crazy on it. You know, obviously it's really dependent on your spells. So you look at uh, Dragon Knight up here with like a thousand of him. So I'm just going to plonk down my, uh, little old, um, what's it called? I don't know the names of anything. 
Avalanche. I play Tiny normally though. That's weird. Not knowing the name of it still. So the items that are really good on here are things like um, what's it called? What's it called? Bloodstone. Tinker has a divine. That is the luckiest drop I think I've ever seen. We need to gank Tinker. There we go. Oh, I got the divine! I got the divine! Oh my god! <laughs> I'm so excited, it's stupid. That was a really good gank, though. I'll be like one hitting all these creeps now. <laughs> I one hit her! <laughs> I just want it a tower! <laughs> I, I don't know what to buy now, but I think I'm going to get killed myself. Get the divine! Get the divine! <laughs> oh my god, so... The divine obviously makes you do 900 extra damage. <laughs> my, that is crazy. <laughs> Oh, right, what, whatever what will we do? So we'll get another item in a minute, which is pretty good. And I think we have, the item I might save up for is a Heart of Tarask. I know I'm an intelligent hero, all that, and the other. Actually, a Bloodstone could be quite useful as well. So let's have a Bloodstone. Because obviously I'll get massive health off this as well. As well as like all the bonuses, I'm mainly doing it for the health because obviously my spells fuck shit up. Uh, let's go for the point booster. So I've got loads of mana, I've got 2000 mana. A refresh rock could be really useful though, like constantly putting out um, Sven's ultimate. So where is our. We need uh, wards maybe. Maybe get a gem? You know, this is still Dota, nonetheless. Oh, Dragonite, it's just OP. OP Dragonite. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of my Iron Branch, you know, it's not really that great. But we need to finish this, so this, these games kinda go on, just like, either about 5 minutes, or about 5, or about five hours, like Dota normally does, because it goes on forever. So it all depends really on people if they rage quit. See, look at that. I can easily kill someone just because of my um, thing. So let's see how uh, this works. It doesn't seem to do much. Oh, it does. I'm just charging for everything. Nice. <laughs> Crazy. This, this, is, this is stupid. You don't know what's going on really, do you? Okay, I'm going to change my boots over now. And get my energy booster, so there we go. And I'm gonna grab my mithril hammer that I got given for free. And then I think I'll buy a health ring. And then I think the game will nearly be over as long as Dragonite doesn't die, obviously. I don't think he will. Especially with that um spell of Naga Siren, so it's just it's just crazy. So obviously you can say, yes, my team was a lot better. Like some of the items we got, obviously. But you know, if um, Tinker didn't die with that uh, scepter, I think it would be a very balanced game. So it seems that Sprint goes on for some time, which is really useful, so I can literally just keep using it, which I'm going to probably do. And take out Luna now, because it's quite easy. Whoa, what has Magnus got? Jesus Magnus, what the hell was that? Let's have a look. He has... The, oh, it's a side blade. An extra 60 damage. That's an extra 180 damage. Jesus! Look at him go! Oh my lord. Look at Dragonite here. He's actually farming jungle. Just to get... What is he, what's he going for? A Necronomic... Oh, he's gone to a Necronomicon upgrades. Do you see the area of effect on that? just slices through everything with the side blades. 
This game is crazy. Dragon Knight's going in, I guess. That's a two I think we should push. So god, yeah, I'm a bit cr uh, crazy on this episode it seems, but I have no idea what's going on myself. So I put my um, thing on, but I take 35% more damage, let's put this down. There's two dusts, who are they? I don't know who they are, but we need a gem. I think we need a gem. Because if Tinker and Troll Warlord are literally just going constantly uh, invisible, maybe it's not Troll Warlord. No, not Tinker. It's going to be quite annoying. Okay, so Dragonite's got himself a gem. So, you know, he's going to be easy to be able to take out Troll Warlord and whoever he wants. So, what's our KD like then? 8 for 5. That's not too bad. Obviously, we've got um, quite overpowered items. Look at that, he's got some items. I need Desolator. If you had these items by the 15 minute mark in normal Dota, you'd just be like, ecstatic. Although it's quite easy to get a Bloodstone this early, I suppose. I really like Sven's ultimate because I do so much damage with him. Go away. Obviously, uh, Shadow, F Shadow Fiend isn't too happy with uh, some people. My stun is the main thing though, you know, uh, 900 damage and then the rest. Shit me. Shit me. Right, we need to get down there, because if Magnus has got that, we are all fucked. Shit! Right, just drag him away and let... Go on, Night Stalker, take the take the divine! Oh my god, take <laughs> Take the divine! Oh no! Come on, Viper! <laughs> and the gems, whatever, everything! <laughs> Just take the lot! Oh my lord. And give it to me, give it to me! I want it. Oh god. We still haven't got that void stone that we've been saving up for for a little bit of time. But we should have an item coming in any time now. We got the Abyssal Blade, so I'm going to take that. Because obviously I, I'm not probably going to not use the, the disable on it, but I will be definitely be using the attack damage. So, um, in the comment sections below, if you have ever played this game mode before, you'll have to try and tell me what are the best items in here. No further. That was an illusion. That was an illusion. I will find them. Okay, not long till I've got uh, Sven's ultimate, which is nice. I nice as beans. I move so fast though, it's just crazy. Obviously, Shadow Fiend's got. Has he got it? No, maybe not. Maybe we should get a courier. That, would that work? I don't know. Probably get owned before it even got here. So there's another mode where you get um, basically unlimited spells. Now, just imagine that, having unlimited spells. You get like, this one time we had um, an Ogre Margie who had uh, Slark's Jump, along with uh, Riptide from Naga Siren, and Jesus Christ, he literally just jumped everywhere and like constantly spammed it. It's crazy. So it shouldn't be too long until we take down that. No, that was nice and easy. One hitting. Just boasting, really. I'll quickly I'll take down everything, it's crazy. Uh, so this is probably the end of the game now, for sure. Look at those, those Dragonites and all. I'm just literally pissing out um, shots. And look how quickly that uh, Ancient went down. So, yes, that is a uh, Dota 2 Dota wear. Well, Dota 2 wear with the mods, three times multiplier. Um, oh my god, what the fuck is it? I think so. And um, something else. Yeah, I've said it before. Fighting chance would give you the items. 
So that Divine really changed the game, that's for sure. 900 damage, and we pretty much had control of it for the rest of the game. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching. If you want to see more Dota 2 wear, make sure to like and comment, then I know what you guys like, really. And I'll see you next time. Bye!